Hi guys, this is Dr. Mohammed Smail. In this video, we are going to discuss an important issue in the magnetic field, the force acting on a moving charge. So let's say we have a charge, a positive charge Q. Sometimes they call it a test charge. This charge is moving with the velocity V, which is the velocity vector, which is making an angle theta with the magnetic field with the value B. So in this region, the charge will experience a force, let's say we call it F, the force equal to Q, which is the charge value, multiplied by V cross B, the cross product of the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. And this is the vector form of the force. Let's say we call it number one. If we would like to have the magnitude of the force, it will be Q, the magnitude of the velocity, the magnitude of the magnetic field, then multiply it by sine theta, which is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. Okay, that's good. From this equation, we can get a unit of the magnetic field. Let's say the magnetic field equal what? Force divided by Q V. Okay? And sine theta, it doesn't have a unit. It's dimensionless quantity. So, uh, if we would like to get the, uh, the unit, the unit of the force is Newton divided by Coulomb meter per second. If you notice here, you will have Coulomb per second, which is ampere. So, you are going to have Newton per ampere multiplied by meter. Newton by ampere multiplied by meter. We call this quantity is Tesla. We call it Tesla. So, the unit of the magnetic field is called Tesla. Okay. Uh, looking back at this equation, we can get some nice ideas about the force and how it works. Let, let, let me remind you with the law again. Let's write it down here. Uh, the magnitude of the force will be Q V B sine theta, which we call equation number two. Number one, what if the velocity in this equation equals zero? What do we mean when we say the velocity equals zero? It means uh, the charge is not moving in the magnetic field. We, you still have the magnetic field, or something like that. This is the magnetic field. You still have the magnetic field, but the charge is not moving the velocity equal zero. In this case, if you substitute uh, with V equal zero uh, at equation number two, we are going to get a zero force, which is a very important note here. We can conclude it here as if the charge is not moving in the magnetic field, there is no force on it. In other words, the magnetic field does not exert force on the charge when it's at rest, which is uh, opposite to the situation in the electric field. The electric field produces force on the charge, either it's moving or not, but the magnetic field, to have a force on the charge, it must be moving. This is number one. Number two, what if we have the magnetic field, let's say going this way, which we call it B, while the velocity had the same direction of the magnetic field. The velocity had the same direction of the magnetic field. So at this case, the angle will be zero, right? So the force F, the magnitude of the force will be Q V B sine zero. So what's sine zero? Huh? Uh, sine zero is zero. So we are going to have a zero force. So if the charge is moving, but moving parallel to the magnetic field, you are going to have a zero force too. Number three, what if the magnetic field is going this way and the velocity or the particle, the charged particle is moving to the other way, opposite with the velocity V? In this case, the angle will be 180 degrees. So if you want to calculate the, the, the force, it will be Q V B sine 180, 
which is still sine 180 equal zero. So the force still equal zero. So if the charge is at rest, as in number one, the force will be zero. If the charge is moving a parallel or anti-parallel, this is parallel and this is anti-parallel. If you are moving a parallel or anti-parallel to the magnetic field, still the force will be zero. Okay? Okay. Let's find number four. Okay. What if the magnetic field B is going this way? while the velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field as shown in this figure. At this case, sine 90. Sine 90 is what? Is 1, which is the maximum value of the sine. So the force, the magnitude of the force equal to QVB. Okay? So, uh, and, and while this is the, the, the maximum value of sine theta, so this will be the maximum value of the force so the maximum value of the force can be obtained when the charge is moving in a perpendicular way to the magnetic field which means it has an angle 90 degree okay next how we are going to get the force direction we are going to use the right hand rule let's imagine that we have a charge Q moving to the left with the velocity v making an angle theta with the magnetic field called v uh, using your right hand just curl uh, your fingers from the velocity to the magnetic field okay at this case your thumb will show the direction of the force okay this is uh, this is a way another way just to bring your uh, using your right hand just make your right hand flat like that and make your thumb showing the direction of the velocity and your fingers going to the direction of the magnetic field in this case the force will be a perpendicular vector to your palm like that this is another way but still you are going to use your right hand okay okay so this is for the default is for the positive charge what if the charge is negative? If the charge is negative, the, just the direction will be the direction will be opposite to the other one. So in this case, in the uh, in this one, the force will be downward for the negative charge. In the other one, the force will be uh, inward the page like that, opposite to the other one. So you can say just make the the rule the default of the rule for the positive charge if you if it's negative just make it opposite or some people just recommend that you can use your left hand for the negative charge I, I i just don't like to confuse you between the two rules so just make the default for the positive charge if it's negative make it opposite and that's it okay